Hey, what's going on everyone? Jeremy here. Today we are going to be talking about Zillica. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. We're gonna do a deep dive into what it is and how they're different from everybody else. If you haven't heard of Zillica, I think you're gonna like it. But before we get to that, if you wanna follow along my journey as I build wealth for my family, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. And remember, none of this is intended to be financial advice. I am merely a guy sitting in front of a computer talking to a camera. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so Zillica, uh, the, the token code is Z-I-L, is turning out to be a pretty unique project. Uh, they're not built on Ethereum or any of the others. They're their own platform. What they've done is create a blockchain that is astronomically scalable. And they use something called uh, sharding, uh, which is right here, sharding. is something that's been used in databases. It basically splits up in a database structure, it splits things up amongst many different databases so that it can basically have a higher throughput. You know, it's pulling data from multiple databases instead of hammering one database. And it, so essentially what they've done for uh, Zillica is, is they have structured the blockchain so that the consensus isn't happening in one area. It sort of splits up into multiple shards, they call it. And so the transaction speeds that they can get are astronomical. I think it's like 2,000 transactions per second or 5,000 transactions, something crazy, uh, which is faster than what Visa has by a, a multiple. And so here's where it talks about being decentralized, uh, decentralized, utilizing its subdivided networks. Zillica is able to process transactions in a decentralized manner without a trusted coordinator. Its network architecture allows a platform to remain decentralized as it continues to grow and expand. So they've got a, a ton of different things here. This is talking about transactions per second. Here it is, 2,828 transactions per second, which is crazy fast. And that number will scale as the number of nodes in the network increases and then here this is really what's uh, pretty incredible is that it only takes a single block in zillica uh, to confirm a transaction bitcoin you can see here takes about an hour uh, and obviously the, this is dependent on the time ethereum is six minutes again it depends on when these statistics were taking zillica is 40 seconds to two minutes they are also looking at staking so they have some staking ability. I don't know if they will eventually be moving to proof of stake, but right now it's obviously proof of work, but there are options to set, stake your Zillica. I have not staked Zillica, so I can't attest one way or another to who this, how this works, um, but it is an option. The other interesting thing about Zillica is obviously they have smart contract ability built in. So there are NFTs available for Zillica. In fact, I've talked about this before, but you can actually buy Zillica domains that are NFTs. So if you go to Unstoppable Domains, I've talked about this a little bit before with um, Ethereum domains. Uh, you can buy like .crypto that are basically uh, NFTs. And Zillica has that ability as well. So you can go in here and buy a .zill domain that is an NFT that is yours forever. No annual fees, it can't ever be taken away from you. Pretty interesting what they're already doing. As I said before, they are a proof of work. Uh, Zillica uses proof of work, be it, albeit in a different way compared to say Bitcoin. This ensures that proof of work does not become a bottleneck for scalability. Zillica demonstrates that even with proof of work, it is possible to hit throughput of thousands of transactions per second. And the reason is just how they've written that sharding and consensus algorithm uh, for Zillica. If we go over here to CoinMarketCap, I always say on this channel that I'm a long-term holder of any of the coins. I research them and I purchase them and hold on to them for long-term. And you can see here that Zillica uh, has a current price today of right at 10 cents, a market cap of $1.1 billion, fully diluted market cap of 2.1, circulating supply of 11.8 billion Zillica, with a max supply of 21 billion. So you can see, you know, Bitcoin has a 21 million coin max supply. This is 21 billion, so it's basically a thousand X. 
So gives you an idea of basically Zillica being a thousand to one as far as coins go to Bitcoin. All right, so you can see in the last month, it's actually down. It was up here at a little over 10 cents. And now we're down to barely over 10 cents. But if we look at the year to date, really has not been much movement. It was 8 cents basically a year ago. But look at this. It jumped up to 24 cents back in May. So whenever everything was going crazy in May, it was at 24 cents a, a, a token. And now it's down to 10 cents. So even if this goes back to its all-time high, you can essentially double your money. But I really think that in the long term, Zillica has the potential to go super high. If you look at all-time data in May of 2018, basically when everything was booming, it was up to 18 or 20 cents, somewhere in there. Sort of settled down here at a penny, a little under a penny for quite a while, a couple of years. I try not to make too many price predictions uh, for any of these tokens, um, but I truly believe that Zillica has potential to grow. It seems to be a good project. They have solved the scalability issue with uh, proof of work coins. And so who knows what it can get to, um, but at a $1.2 billion market cap right now, there is plenty of room to move, especially if we go back here uh, to all the cryptocurrencies and look at them. Bitcoin's at a trillion dollar market cap. Ethereum's at 424. Cardano's 72. Uh, so if this has NFTs, it's proof of work, and it's fast, has the potential, I think, to get somewhere in this area. Uh, so that would mean that if it gets to $300 or $300 billion market cap at some point, Right now it's at 1.2. It's basically a 250x move from its current price. So it could hit into the $25 range eventually. Uh, again, all of this is just mere speculation. And if it did that, I don't think it would be this year or even next year. I think this would be a long-term play. Uh, we'll just sort of have to see what happens with all of these tokens. I really think that over time you're going to see a lot of these tokens sort of fall away. And the, the big finishers, the, the great projects will sort of move to the top. If you've never heard of Zillica or you've been thinking about buying some Zillica, go check it out. Do your own research, obviously. Big shout out to the Patreon subscribers below. They really help make this channel possible. If you haven't heard of Holochain, I've got a video that talks about Holochain right over here. Go check that one out. I'll see you over there.